Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I hope you're enjoying your day. I want to say a very special Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. This is the day that we are acknowledged from our family, our friends, our children. They are celebrating us today. And I'm very excited. But I want to talk to the fathers. I want to encourage the fathers who are taking care of their responsibilities with their families, with their children. I want you to know that your work is not going unnoticed. Don't you know that you are a very, very important asset to this world, to your family, to your children. You are the covering to your family. You are also the foundation of the identity of your children. Their, your children receive their identity through your input. So I want you to know that your work is so important. Your work is so important regardless of what society or what other people may say. There are so many fathers that are out there who may not even be in contact with their own children because of some type of baby mama or baby father issue. But I want to encourage those fathers who are trying to reach out to their children and may have a difficult time with the children's mother, I want you to know that I'm praying for you. Don't give up. But also, I want to encourage those guys who have abandoned their responsibilities because of issues with the children's mother. I want to encourage you, please, step up to the plate. Your children need you. Regardless of how difficult things may be, don't give up. Don't give up. Give everything to God and keep praying. Even if it calls for you to reach out with the baby mother or towards the baby mother. Be the bigger person. Step up to the plate and do the things that are right. Work on building that rapport or that relationship with your children by sometime even dinner with the children's mother. That doesn't mean you have to go back with them, but number one, pray for them, talk to them, communicate with them in love. No matter how difficult things have been in the past, don't let bitterness cause friction in you relate in your relationship with your children. Learn to pray for the children's mother. No matter what problems have occurred in the past, don't let it affect the future or even the present. Your children are dependent upon your input. Your children are dependent upon you, no matter what situation have occurred. And also, I want to share this with you. Even with the fathers who may have had a past, don't you know that don't allow your past to influence how you raised your children? A lot of men beat themselves up over their past and they feel like they cannot be an effective father. Don't you know? God can forgive you, but also you got to forgive yourself. But that does not remove your responsibility with your children. You still deserve to be their father. You still deserve to be in their life, to be functioning in their lives. So don't hold your head down because of your past and make you feel like you're unimportant and walk away. No. No matter what your past was or is, understand your children deserve you in their life but make sure you have given everything to God and also you have repented even sometimes to your children a lot of times we ask for forgiveness from those that we have that have hurt us or those that we have hurt but also understand your children needs to know how much you love them sometimes it's more than just your presence that matter it's your input you being involved in your children's life Nothing against the mother influence, but it's something about daddy. It's something about the impact that fathers make into their children. The fathers invest so much in what the uh, investment that the fathers put in their children is so valuable. The children cherish that. And so now I want to show y'all one of the greatest investments that God has blessed me to have. It's a gift that God has blessed me to have. And it's one in particular. And it's my son. My son right here. 
He is the reason why I do what I do. And my responsibility is to be the example that God will be pleased and also it will draw my son closer to God through his father's influence. So now I want to introduce you all to my son. If you want to have some words, you're welcome to. Uh, hello. I I am the son of the greatest YouTuber ever. Um, I'm just glad to have him as my father. Just thank you for everything that he does for me. Just, I don't know what I would do with any other father. I'll just stick with this one for the rest of my life. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. You know, um, I, I'm honored. You know, um, we didn't practice over what we were going to say. I just wanted him to speak from his heart, and I appreciate it. Daddy, love you, okay? I appreciate you. Thank you know, uh, I got this from him a couple of years ago on Father's Day. And this is a dog tag, and it says, Dad. And a lot of time I wear it outside of my shirt, but if it don't match with when I'm wearing, I wear it inside my shirt, but I always wear it. And the reason why I always wear it, especially I wear it inside my shirt, so it'll always be close to my heart. Because I got it from someone that was close to my heart. And so I'm very honored to be a father. I very much appreciate being a father. And I want you all to know the greatest gift that a father can give to his child is to be able to give him the gift of introducing him to his real father, and that's God. So as we get ready to pray, if there's any fathers that have any type of issues that may be going on, I want you to know that we're going to be touching and agreeing right now. And I want you to know that there's nothing too hard for God. God can move mountains. God can move any and every situation if we give everything to God. But also in giving everything to God pertaining to whatever issue or whatever problem that we're having or that we're dealing with, let us first give ourselves over to God. If you are not saved, I recommend that you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior right now. But also understand this. What great influence that a father can have with the power of God. Let us pray. The Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness, God. God, we're coming to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done, everything that you are, God. God, we thank you, Lord, for the acknowledgement of fathers right now, God. God, we know, God, that many people that are out there, God, that desire to be fathers, there are many people out there that are fathers, God. And God, we thank you, Lord, for the fathers right now, God. God, no matter what situation they have, they have happened in the past, God, let them know, God, that there's nothing too hard for you, God, and that they give everything to you, God. If they repent, God, you will accept them, God. God, we thank you, Lord, for everything you've done, everything you're going to do right now, God. And, Lord, we hold up, God, every father right now, God. If there's any father that's going through any type of situation, any type of struggle, no matter what it is, God, God, we ask you, Lord, to help them to give everything to you, God. And, God, help them, God, to seek your counsel, God. Help them, God, to put everything in prayer right now, God. Lord, help them, God, to be the example, God, that you have for them to be right now, God. In the name of Jesus. And say about everything you stand for, about every problem, about every confusion, about everything you stand for right now. In the name of Jesus, we speak in victory right now. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, not just for the biological fathers, God, but also even to the stepfathers, God. Those who have stepped up to the plate, God. We speak in God to the step up fathers, God, who have stepped up to the plate and took care of the responsibilities that the biological fathers have abandoned, God. We thank you, Lord, for those step up fathers, God. We speak in God that you encourage their heart, God. Be with them right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. And we thank you, Lord, for everything you've done. Everything Everything you're going to do, we hold up every family right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Be speaking also of the even healing right now, God. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, help us, God, as men, God, to take the leading ship role, God. Help us to take the lead role right now, God. And we thank you for everything you've done, everything you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video. I pray that it ministers to you and also to the men. I want to encourage you this particular message. Do not send your family to church. Take them. Be blessed.